Heroes are often the focus of movies, television, comics, and video games. But it makes us stop and think, what would Batman be without Robin? Or Mario without Luigi? Hey Shackers, Greg here, and today I'm going through the top 10 sidekicks in video games. Now, the list will be pretty straightforward. Anyone who plays the role of a sidekick or support in the video game world is qualifiable, whether they're good, bad, or just plain annoying. Well, without further ado, let's take a look at the support that makes our heroes that much stronger. These are the top 10 sidekicks in video games. Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! Daxter is the otter-weasel hybrid in the famous Jack and Daxter series. He wasn't always an otzo, it was an accident. However, the character's personality fits perfectly along with Jack's strong, silent demeanor. Daxter is one of those sidekicks that meshes his personality with his friend's dark, serious attitude and offers support, humor, and an abundance of one-liners. <laughs> Max is all short-term memory. I have to bring him back up to speed every once in a while. Ah, giant talking dog! This furry white rabbit thing is a loyal partner of Sam, the private investigator dog. He's not as smart as our main hero Sam, but Max shows humor and courage in the moments where it matters most, and prefers to solve problems the more directly, without diplomacy or forward thinking. Perhaps the most important factor is his relationship with Sam, who is his best friend to the point where he's extremely possessive of him. It's the classic odd couple team up, but it works. Ah! Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxi? Oh, death, where is that guy Sting? Very- Oh, the pain, the pain, and only two days to retirement. We gotta promise to Timo the Dukes of Hazard for uh, me. Hello. Ah! Oh, oh. Ah! Hey! Knock it off! Stop it! Will you stop it? I'm not here to hurt you. Who are you? My name is DeWitt. I'm a friend. I come to get you out get of here. Get away! In most video games, the girl or the women are the ones who need saving. And although Bioshock Infinite seems to start off like this common video game cliche, you soon find out that Elizabeth is a strong supporting character, helping you open terrors to dispatch foes. She even gives you ammo, tonics, and other useful items during the entirety of the game. Look her here! That'll do! Here you go! Want some money? Appreciate it. And it's also clear that she can take care of herself. Are you real? I'm real enough. Falco here. I'm fine. This is Peppy. All systems go. Flippy here. I'm okay. There is no way I could narrow this team of supportive... Gee, I've been saved by Fox. How swell. Well, almost supportive members. They're just one individual. Peppy, the seasoned veteran. Do a barrel roll. Falco, the bona fide badass. I guess I should be thankful. And Slippy, uh... I'm hit! Are you okay? Data analysis complete. Here it comes. Doug, got it! Don't forget me! Don't worry, Slippy's here! Do something! And of course, Rob, who controls Great Fox. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Each adds their own skill that brings something to support Fox McCloud, making all of them valued sidekicks in the Cornarian system. Well, maybe all of them is too generous. Oh no! It's too hot! I can't take it anymore! I've got you now! Keep shooting! We've got one! Shepard. I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? 
Just keeping my skills sharp. The Mass Effect series has a number of supportive characters and sidekicks, but if Commander Shepard is Jean-Luc Picard, then Garrus is his William Riker. The relationship between him and Shepard is one of close friends, valued advice, and most importantly, trust. If anything happened to Shepard, you'd be damn sure that Garrus would pick up the mantle to avenge his fallen commander, and not another character would be able to carry out that burden more than Garrus Vakarian. I'm Garrus Vakarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. Where would Donkey Kong be without his partner Diddy? Diddy Kong was introduced in the first outing on the SNES in Donkey Kong Country, and since then, he's been in all the Donkey Kong Country games, had his own racing title, and has been in the roster of the last two Super Smash Bros. games. Diddy Kong is one of the most iconic support characters in the video game universe, and he won't be going away anytime soon. His real name is Miles Tails Prower, and he's Sonic's go-to partner, helping him fly, do extra damage, or just flat out sacrificing himself so Sonic can get air bubbles. Tails is a skilled inventor and mechanic, adding a tremendous amount to the Sonic crew. He first appeared in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and he just felt right, like he belonged there. Say what you want about the Sonic franchise today, Tails has mostly remained unchanged. Oh god, oh god, do you hear that? There's no time! Uh, we're gonna have to eat the tiny bubbles! Uh, mostly, they're swallowing water. Uh, we're gonna die! We're gonna die! <laughs> you blue haired mother! <laughs> Where would the famous blue robot be without his trusty robotic dog Rush? Yes, it is true. Mega Man has an abundance of robotic partners, allies, and helpers but none are more loyal or useful than that red mechanical dog. Helping Mega Man get to the hard to reach places, allowing him to free fly around the stage or area, delivering helpful items, Rush can do it all. He's really one of the best video game sidekicks in the world. However annoying she may prove to be, and through the years of memes and parody voices of hey, look, watch out, you have to go back to the roots of the N64 and see that Navi was indeed a huge help in Link's quest to obtain the spiritual stones and spirit medallions. Her voice and fluttering sounds would be known to gamers everywhere for the rest of time. She may be one of the most obnoxious characters in the video game universe, but she's also one of the most iconic. Probably the best sidekick of all time. Certainly not on purpose, but let's face it, it will always be Mario and Luigi. The Red Plumber's younger brother has been in a supportive role for years. Which is funny, because on numerous occasions, he's proved he can jump higher than his older brother. But Luigi is alas one of the biggest and strongest supportive characters in the Nintendo universe. Aside from a few titles like Luigi's Mansion, the Green Plumber is most likely stuck in a support role second to his brother. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. He's proven time and again that he can step up with the rest of the Mario crew Luigi is one of the greatest sidekicks to ever grace our screens. From Super Smash Bros. to Mario Kart, Luigi will be around forever, taking his rightful place next to his older brother, Mario. What sidekick did you guys like the best? Let us know in the comments below. Have an idea for a top 10? Tweet me and include hashtag top 10. 
For more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on ShackNews.com. Name, Mario. Last name. Mario. Okay, what's your name? Luigi. Luigi, Luigi? No, Luigi Mario. Okay, look, how many Marios are there between the two of you? There's three. It's, it's Mario Mario and Luigi Mario.